Hi guys, this is Saro. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to create an app to help in this situation, in this coronavirus situation. So uh, I got one message in WhatsApp. So that one is see here. So they they ask you some question, and they you can see here check the probability of getting your corona infection from the score card given. If I just choose here, you can see the question. If newspaper is supplied to your house, if yes, then we got one point. Second, and then the third is if the barber is coming to your house, it means we get two more points. It means total three. Okay. If you are going to barber shop without letting anyone know, you will get three points. Right? It means three, four, five. So you can see the whole uh, this message and read out. And after this, you will see a scorecard. If you have zero to four score, it means you are not denser. Then it's safe. But if you have five to ten score, it means it's light denser. Okay. Then the, if you have eleven to seventeen, it means serious denser. So we are going to convert this overall message to an app. People can check the probability of getting your corona infection. Their corona infection. Fine. So uh, that's uh, that's the app idea for the okay uh, coronavirus. So let's see how to create this app. So I'm not going to write every question. Okay, there are a lot of question around 15 question in this app. I'm going to show you how you can create it. So I'm using here only three questions, three or four question to show you how you can do this and how you can create this app. Fine. So I'm going to create one app proper, fully working condition with the uh, help of only four questions. Fine. So let's start. Click on start new project and here you can see check score. Okay. Now, now we need here one layout and that should be vertical scroll arrangement. Okay. Make sure this should be scroll arrangement because we, if we have a lot of questions, so we have to scroll this screen. Right, so that's why we need the vertical scroll arrangement and make it fill parent where there's also fill parent. I'm going to change this background color orange. Fine. Now we are going to use here one horizontal arrangement. Drag and drop this and make this height is something 10% and with this fill parent like this. Now I'm going to drag and drop one label like this and two buttons for getting the answer for one is yes, yes and then one, uh, second one is for no. Fine. I'm going to change the text for label uh, text of label one. So click on this label and you have to click on with and make it fill parent. This is important. Now I'm going to the questions here and I'm going to copy this question from here and paste it like this fine i'm going to change this button text yes and second one is no like this and i'm going to increase the font size for this like this fine and i'm going to change this background color also to orange like this and can we change it to something else like pink fine it's look great now now uh, i'm going to uh, change this horizontal arrangement height it is now 10 percent i'm going to make it 15 so this will look uh, fine and make this top to center this one is also center so it's look fine now now i'm going to drag and drop another layout that one is also horizontal okay that one is our first question and make it with this fill parent and here you need to there's no option of copy paste it will be best if there is one option right so but there is no so i'm going to drag and drop text label then image two four fine and i'm going to do it again make it third one 
and using here one level for third question and two buttons like this and make this horizontal with is fill parent and hide is something 20 if it's fine yeah fine make it center make it center for the horizontal element this one for second make it hide is 20 percent and change this background color to pink and this one is also i'm going to change the background color to pink fine and make it center center click on this and make it also center like this i'm going to change this text also so i'm going to use here i'm not going to use polybag option i'm going to use here the bar bar and uh, copy and paste this text like it and change your buttons name like yes and second one is no and another one third one text if washerman is coming to your house oh like this fine i'm going to change the font size to 80 and make this is a with is fill parents like this and change this yes and make it no like this and make it this one font size is also 18 and make this one is also with this fill parent fine so that's the overall we have three question you can add up to all question you have to add something like 15 question okay now i'm going to use here one more button to display the score so i'm going to just here show your score like this and uh, i'm going to type one i'm going to use here one label and i'm going to use here one if you have these uh, like you know uh, if you have what score you have right now so if you have the score related no oh, i'm going to use your two level so one and two and make it no than the zero to four so make it like this and like this I can drop this it's fine right and your score will display in the notifier so I'm going to use here one notifier and you can display this in any label here but I am using here a notifier so you you may know the how to use a notifier here it's fine now we are going to the clock section here okay so first thing we have to uh, check which question we have answered yes or no so how to know that so i'm going to change this these buttons identity like if i'm going to use here yes so i'm going to rename yes btn for first level so it means only one right and for this no btn for the first level right no btn means no button for the first level fine now for that same as it is you have to do like yes btn for the second level and this one is no btn for the second level for the third what we will do yes btn for the third one and this one is for no for no btn for the third level fine great now go to the block section and here whenever someone click on yes in button one in label so first we have to initialize the variable so there is two way to initialize variable you can just write down in your keyboard you can click on anywhere in the screen and just click on i and you will see here the suggestion you will get the suggestion fine so here you can get the initialize global i'm going to delete it and another way is you will see here the control logic 
variable so you will see the variable option you will get drag and drop this in a slice global variable from here okay i ask i ask so uh, there is a score variable and max function i'm going to score is zero here fine so whenever someone click on yes it means yes means if newspaper is supplied to your house if yes then score we got one so i'm going to block section and make this set global score so we have to increase the global score so find out this math section you will get plus here you need to get the score for the score before we have and we will add one score here like this and make it one fine now if someone is click on the no it means no btn for one no btn okay it's okay fine bta zero fine if someone is tell you that no then we have to set the score to zero okay right? plus zero now we have to do it for the all so i'm going to copy and paste all buttons here like this and we have to just change our button name so it's very easy so i'm going to make i'm going to just uh, do it like in a slide score is here make it like here fine okay now the thing is change this one btn if someone is score is you can see uh, the bar bar is score right so bta1 it means we have to change it we already have btn1 so first we need to btn1 btn1 no okay it's fine btn for 2 no it, no it means 0 but btn i'm just making everything is first is no 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 and 3 okay no 1 no 2 and no 3 button now i'm going to make it yes for 2 yes for 3 this one is not we need need it fine so here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 button right if there is yes it means yes score if there is no 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 if there is yes then the level 2 is what it means if the barber is coming to your house it means you are getting to a score and button 3 it means level 3 so it means if you are yes then your score increase to 3 and you will see here no for 0 0 0 fine now whenever someone click on the button 7 it means the show score okay so what we will do we will notify it and uh, you will see here call show alert and get the score value get the score value here. fine now i'm going to run this app if this one is already running fine you can see here that's the app here now i'm going to click on yes then again yes but there is no it means that one is one score we get and is this one two it means three total score right click on so score you will see score is three fine you can display here something more like uh, i'm going to use here one like you know uh, join text like this and join this here and you can write something like drag and drop this text and just write here your score is fine and we need here one reset button also so i'm going to use one reset button also here and change this button for reset fine and whenever someone click on this reset button means button E so what will happen we have to set the global value to 0 make it 0 copy and paste this match number and 0 fine so we have 3 score I am going to reset this score and click on show score you will see 0 here now reset and I am going to yes 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 then show my score the score is 6 so i'm going to reset it i'm going to click on no 
If news paper is supplied to you, no. Bar bar is coming to your house, no. Washerman is coming to your house, no. And your score is zero. It means no than that. Fine. So that's very basic. Eh? If you have any doubt, you can ask me and comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like my video, subscribe my channel, and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye bye.